Gridlock, waste of man hours and commuters' frustration characterize inbound traffic situation at Ijora Papa and Mile 2 Tinkan Port Road, Lagos. On a wet day, human and vehicle traffic situation to the country's gateway port, Apapa, Lagos, was on a standstill. Motorists who had been trapped in the traffic for hours blamed limited access to the port, which has been worsened by slow pace of road reconstruction. I've been trying to identify a client at this uh, seven up. First time I use this road, I, I plead with the government to please help us because it's becoming too much. This is on a daily basis. I plead that both the federal government, especially the governor of Lagos State, they should come to our aid. Otherwise, millions, many people are even suffering. No business is moving with this deadlock. It doesn't seem I'm going to live here for another two, three hours, and it's really pointless. The other side of the road is blocked, the bridge is blocked, all the passing one way is blocked. So I have to go see my mother and I don't even know what I'm going to do. If there's a port and everyone is trying to get to the port, it doesn't make sense to have only one route to the port. It doesn't make any sense. So if I live next to the port, now what do I have to do? So that means I have to go home at 2 a.m. in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, so it's pointless. Almost like more than a month now, we have been going through a tick of this traffic hold up here and it's getting worse. So once government to really do something about it, maybe they should have another channel. National Association of Government Approved Freight Forwarders said the appalling state of the road has increased the clearing of goods and lamented that its members are losing revenue. If you have to take only from our port for 140 foot container down to Enugu, ordinarily it will take you around 200,000 to 220,000. For you to take haulage from a papa port to Inugu, as we speak today, you need 750,000 error. So it's almost like times four rough estimates. We've lost over 50 billion within the last two to three months. The papa port houses tank farms for storing petroleum products and maritime related businesses such as freight, clearing and forwarding among others, which make a papa a hub for maritime activities. Lelian Ezemark, Core TV News, Lagos.